many of the people, including Dr. Fachi and others who are commenting on the coronavirus, have said just this week that Americans are going to react differently to the coronavirus and more severely than other cultures for the two reasons, weight and lack of exercise. And with all of our equipment and all of our wealth compared to many other countries, we still don't exercise. But you're going to be learning that what Judy Foreman has been speaking about are called biomarkers of aging. And soon they're going to be tests that you could do in your home. There are now, but they're a little expensive. And you'd know where your biomarkers are. And you would know from these nine factors how you're doing with regard to your age. And it's in your hands to make a difference, just like this study that Judy Foreman, author of Exercises Medicine, just told us about. So that's one of them. I think you said you wanted to speak about perhaps one more. Yes. Uh, mitochondria are really important. Mitochondria are the little powerhouses uh, inside all of our cells. And there's, there's a fascinating story about how we wound up with mitochondria, but I won't go into that now. But basically, when we exercise, a whole chain of chemical events gets triggered in the muscles that we're using. And it tells uh, the various cellular machinery to make more mitochondria. So just like the biking exercise in Sweden, we end up with a lot more mitochondria in the muscles we use than in the muscles that we don't use. And this is huge because mitochondria make this uh, chemical called ATP, adenosine triphosphate, which is the energy molecule. And literally, the more we exercise, the more energy we get, even though it does take energy to exercise, we end up on the plus side of that biologically. And that's huge because a lot of people complain of low energy as they get older, and exercise often can help that. And it definitely helps keep your muscles strong, which is another whole chapter in the book that we don't have to go into. But one basic bad thing that happens as people get older is what they call sarcopenia, which just means not enough muscle mass. And basically, if you don't have strong enough leg muscles and back muscles, you can't get out of a chair. You can't get yourself to the toilet and, and up again. And that's a major reason people wind up in nursing homes. And that is very fixable by a few basic exercises like squats or, you know, a physical therapist can tell you what's best for you individually. 